we should still have the file psa1.psd opened on your screen. We opened this file in the previous exercise. And so this is a file that's currently stored on your computer at school. Now, before you do any work, you must save this file onto your USB drive. Because if you don't, and you save the work on the school computer, when the computers are turned off at night, all your work will be erased. So, in order to save this file onto your USB, click File on the menu bar, and then click where it says Save As. And that will open up the Save As dialog box, which you can click and drag around by clicking and dragging on the top, the title bar here. Okay, so if it's blocking something and you can't uh, see what's behind it, just move it out of the way. Okay, so in the Save As dialog box, you have to click the down arrow next to the Save In box. And that lets you choose uh, the location where you want to save your file. Now, I've already plugged in my USB drive. On my computer, my laptop, my USB drive is called Removable Disk F. At school, your USB drive, when you plug it into the computer, will probably be called Removable Disk E. So, look for it, click to select it, and if you've never used this USB drive before, yours will display this folder is empty. However, if you already have some other files, maybe from previous classes or your own personal documents, this box here will show you the different files and folders that are already on your removable disk. Now, we could keep the file name the same, but if you follow your instructions, the instructions tell you to change the file name to vacation. So I'll delete the PSA1 and I will type in vacation as the new file name. Okay. And when you're done, you've chosen your removable disk and you type in the new file name, click save and you'll notice that once you save the file, the name on the title bar changes as well. So this document here is no longer called PSA1. Instead, it's now called vacation.psd. You're now finished this exercise.